When you come to Philadelphia, there are so many beautiful and historic sacred sites to see. You'll be amazed by their diversity and symbolism. The Miraculous Metal Shrine in Germantown is a great place to learn about Catholics' devotion to the Virgin Mary. A visit to Philadelphia can sometimes be a little overwhelming. Navigating the city streets and many neighborhoods can be confusing. Traffic can be a bear. Sometimes I like to escape it all. I jump on the Chestnut Hill East Line to Germantown Station and come here to the Miraculous Metal Shrine. <sighs> Sanctuary. The Shrine to Our Lady of the Miraculous Metal was built here inside of the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception in the late 1880s. This chapel was originally a place of worship for seminarians of the Congregation of the Mission, whose priests are better known as Vincentians because the order was founded by St. Vincent de Paul. Today, the shrine is still maintained by priests of the Vincentian order. If you're lucky, you'll meet one of my friends, Father Carl Pieber, executive director of the shrine. So Father, St. Catherine Labore was in Paris, and we are in Philadelphia. So how did this shrine come to be here? Going all the way back, of course, the Vincentians came over in 1818 via Baltimore. Father Skelly, in 1915, uh, did an appeal to build another seminary in Princeton. So to thank the Blessed Mother for her great graces and gift to us, he wanted to start a shrine to her. And so that's how this shrine became named the Miraculous Metal Shrine. The story of the Miraculous Metal starts in Paris in April of 1830, when the Virgin Mary appeared to Catherine Labore, a young novice of the Daughters of Charity, the order of nuns that was also founded by St. Vincent de Paul. Over a series of meetings, the Virgin Mary gave Catherine a mission to have a medal made, which was designed by Mary herself, and to tell others that those who wore it with confidence would receive great graces. This is one of my favorite places here at the Shrine, the gift shop, where there's always something amazing to buy. This is the medal that was designed by the Virgin Mary. No wonder it sells so well. On the front of the medal is an image of Mary holding out her hands with rays of light streaming from them, symbolizing the many graces that Mary promised to those who asked for them. Around the medal are the words, O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The back of the medal is more symbolic. The cross symbolizes Jesus, while the M represents Mary, and the 12 stars represent the 12 apostles. Every Monday from morning until night, the Shrine has Novena Masses and services that bring hundreds of people from all around the area. They call this Novena a Perpetual Novena because although a Novena is normally a prayer that you say for nine days, that's where the word Novena comes from, this one has been going strong since 1930. Downstairs, another shrine depicts Mary as Catherine saw her in a later meeting, standing atop a globe. One of the great things about the people who come here is the variety of ethnicities. There's a huge Indian population who comes to this shrine. Recently, a statue of Our Lady of Valankani, an apparition of Mary that occurred in India, was established here. There's also an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, honoring the Marian apparition that happened in Mexico in the 1500s. No matter which image of the Blessed Virgin Mary you prefer, the Miraculous Metal Shrine is sure to provide you with a wonderful sense of peace and serenity. All this history and sightseeing makes me hungry, and Suburban Station is a great place to explore for some of the many foods for which Philadelphia is famous. As a special treat for the world meeting of families, Philly Pretzel Factory has created the Knot Pretzel in honor of the Marian devotion that's close to Pope Francis' heart, Mary, undoer of knots. Catholics pray a novena, or a nine-day prayer, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, asking her to undo the many knots that are in our lives. I like mine with cheese. Check out all of our videos to explore the exciting history of Catholicism in Philadelphia. I'm Diana Vonglan, the Faithful Traveler. Thanks for watching, and thanks to all of our sponsors.